looking to play hard and hard on the candy fan. Brian Rowan. Okay, you guys are ready. We're gonna move right on to round two. Round two is history of the program. So we're gonna ask questions about the history of the Roadrunner program, the women's soccer team, and we're gonna get right into the first first question. So this one pertains to your coach. What year did Coach Megan Rutler take over as head coach of the women's soccer team? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, I have to do math here. <laughs> you gotta do the math, yeah. What year did she take over? Start winning seconds. all those region championships. I got a great feeling about this. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, time. All right, Alex, since you are in the lead, you can reveal your answer first. Hold it up and tell us what it is. I think it's our 12th year, so I'm thinking 2007. 2007. All right, Alyssa. I was going to say that, but then I said 2009. Well, <laughs> well, I can tell you that you are both wrong. It is 2010. She has six region championships oh, in 10 seasons. And so no points are going to be awarded that round. Coach Meg, six region championships in 10 years. <laughs> That's fantastic. How? Just tell us. you become like a staple in South Jersey soccer. While I get this next question, I think, it's like, what's it been like the last 10 years? A long time. Um, <laughs> we, what we're proud of, I can speak on behalf of the coaching staff, is, you know, um, changing the culture and establishing um, the women's soccer program really so we've had a lot of players come through and, and really their uh, their work rate and their ability to be coachable and do what we're asking that you know allowed us to be successful so we're thankful for the players that have come through and uh, really made this a nice family all right ever so humble coach megan we're gonna move right on to question number two what is coach megan rutler's highest ever finish at the national tournament what is her highest finish to nationals? That's the main question. You just got to get what place, and you can get a bonus point if you can tell us what year that was. You still have Alex in the lead. 10 seconds. Remember, points, there is, ah, every question is worth two points in this round. So we have a chance for, we have a, chance for a comeback. Two, one, time. Time. All right, Alyssa, we'll let you go first. I said second in 2012. Second in 2012. Alex? I got it wrong. I said second, 2017. Okay, so you both get one point, two points, but Alyssa's going to get the bonus point because she got the year right. The correct answer is oh. run national runners-up in 2012. <laughs> Alyssa's going to get three in that, in that question. She had a good year in 2017 as well. We just didn't finish that. Yeah. And that might be a question, so I'll stay quiet on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The next question is right about around that time. Before Leah Switansky won Region 19 Player of the Year this past season, who was the last roadrunner to win Region 19 Player of the Year? That's the main question. The bonus question is if you can tell us what year it was. Who was the last Region 19 Player of the Year from the roadrunners before Leah? Um, <laughs> Liz, do you have any clue? <laughs> I guess. It was before. It was before you. It was before you two. It was before you two. Before your uh, freshman season. So it wasn't. Yeah. It was was recently. It was recently. I'll give Ten you that. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. So Alex, you can hold yours up at the start. What is your guess? I said actually, Angler, two thousand. 17. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. All right. What about you, Alyssa? What are you going to go with? I just said 2017. I didn't know. Dude. All right. You guys both got the bonus question right, but unfortunately, neither of you got the main question right. The correct answer is Megan Lord in 2017 was oh the last roadrunner to win, that, win Region 19 Player of the Year. We're going to get no points for that question. We're going to move right on to the next question here. Who did the roadrunners beat to earn their seventh Region 19 championship? And you get a bonus point if you can tell me what year it was. Wait, seven? Wait, yeah, seven? Yeah, seven. Oh, okay. Well. Ooh, this is a tough one. I can see. I can see you both thinking about this one. This is a good one. 
Ten, ten seconds. Who did they beat to earn the seventh Region 19 title, and what year was it? Five, four, three, two, one. Time. All right. Alyssa. I said 2017 and Union, but I have no clue. All right. Alex? I said 2019, Union. The correct answer was Brookdale in 2017 to win their seventh oh. to win the seventh uh, to win the seventh region 19 championship. They beat Brookdale in 2017. So you got to be here right, Alyssa, but not the main mm. question. Question five about that 2017 team. What place did the Roadrunners finish in a national tournament in 2017? No bonus points for this question. Just tell us what they, what uh what place they finished. Like Coach Megan said, it was a very good team in 2017. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we I don't think we have one one point given out so far this one this round. Coach Mike's gonna be mad because she talks about this all the time. <laughs> Ten seconds. Is that true, Coach Meg? Do you talk about it all the time? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Ashley Angler was a big part of that that team that year. Um, while not player of the year, she was definitely extraordinary. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, that's time, guys. All right, Alex, you can hold yours up first. What's your guess? I think third. <laughs> third? All right, Alyssa, what are you and going with? Second. All right, again, no mm. points that round. It was fourth that season. Dang, we finished fourth, fourth in the 2017 National uh, Tournament. Wait. All right, now we'll move right on to question six. How many total Region 19 championships do the Roadrunners have in program history? <laughs> You can get a bonus point if you name how many each of, each of the coaches have, if you guys know that. Each of the coaches? Oh, I think But you need to get the first answer right. There was a hint in one of the earlier questions I that know. I asked you guys. There was a bit you of a hint. You keep saying it. <laughs> I forget. <laughs> 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Let's see who's going to get the guess off this one. Still no points have gone out in the history <laughs> round. Yes. We haven't gone out in the history round yet. Yes. It has? What's, yeah. a, what's the score right now, Ryan? Um, Alex with 11 and Alyssa with 10. Oh, 10, it's getting oh, close. Okay. All right. <laughs> time. All right, that's time. Alyssa, we'll get your answer first. Seven and Coach Meg had five. Okay, Alex? It's an eight, but I had no idea for the bonus. All right, Alex is going to get the point because the total is eight. There's eight, won eight. eight Region 19 championships. They won two under Coach Dan Roberts in 2002 and 2007 and six under Coach Megan Rutler in 2012, 13, 15, 16, 17, and 19. All right, we're going to go right on. Question seven. In 2017, the Roadrunners took home their seventh Region 19 championship. And what was the score? Didn't you just say it? Wait. Yeah, that was the question. What was the score of that championship um, game? It was versus Brookdale. What was the score of that championship game? Take your best guess. What was the score? I think it was overtime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought so. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Alex, we'll go to you first. I said three to two. Three to two. Alyssa? I said two to one. You guys are both wrong again. It wasn't that close. It was four nothing was the total, was the final score in that game when – Coach Megan and the Roadrunners took home their seventh Region 19 championship in 2017. Now, question <laughs> eight of this round. Who did Coach Megan beat to win her 100th career game? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I hope it wasn't this year. We should have done a yeah. sign or something. It was not. It was. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a hint. It is a Region 19 opponent. It is a Region 19 opponent. It wasn't an out-of-conference out of or out-of-state opponent. It was a Region 19 opponent. Wait, who'd she beat? Who did she beat to win the 100th career game? Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, Alyssa, we'll do you first. What is your best guess here? I said Ocean. Ocean? Alyssa? I mean, Alex, I'm sorry. <laughs> I said Bucks. Bucks? Both of you, again, you're wrong. Mm. It is Brookdale. She beat Brookdale for her 100th career win. Oh, my God. Oh, Brookdale. <laughs> We're going to move right on. What year did the Roadrunners win their first ever Region 19 championship? Mm. <laughs> what year did they win their first Region 19 championship? Mm. 
first ever championship. Ten seconds. We got a really tight one here. I'm actually really, I'm really happy with how this has turned out. This is a really tight <laughs> matchup right, so four, far. Four, three, two, one, time. Alex, we'll go you first. Hold up your answer. What's your guess? I said 2005. Oh. 2005. All right, Alyssa. I said 2006. <laughs> <laughs> it is 2002, so no points mm. that round again. What? 2002 was their first year they won the Region 19 championship. That was on the Coach Dan Roberts for Coach Meg's time. Now, the last question in this round, what current – RCSJ coach was also the coach of the women's soccer team at one point. I'm really, I really want to know if you guys can get this one. Hmm. Coach Meg, do you know? It was just on social media, yeah. Yeah, it was just posted a couple of days ago. I remember that's, that's where I got it from. I remember, I remember seeing that's it. Let's see if you guys have. No grabbing your phones or nothing. Don't go cheating now. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Try to go on the Twitter page. Yeah. Ten seconds. Uh, do we know? Them? Yeah. I, I assume you would. Yeah. Five. Four, three, two, one, time. All right, Alyssa, do you have a guess? No. <laughs> Alex, do you have a guess? I said Cooper, but <laughs> I doubt that's right. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're right. The answer is Coach Hobbins, the men's soccer coach. He was the first. Oh, oh he, was the women's so he was the women's soccer coach for the first two years of the program's existence. 